நம சிவாய நம டு தி அல் மைட்டி சுப்ரீம் ஸ்பிரிட் ஐ பே மை நமஸ்கார் பிளிஷ் புலி திஸ் ரெக்கார்டிங் இஸ் கோயிங் டு பே இன் இங்கிலீஷ் ஃபார் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் டைம் ஐ வாண்ட் டு மேக் அன் இங்கிலீஷ் ரெக்கார்டிங் இன் மை யூடியூப் சேனல் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் கோயிங் டு பி ரியலி எ சர்ப்ரைஸ் ஃபார் யூ ஐ வாண்ட் டெல் யூ சம்திங் பிஃபோர் ஐ ஸ்டார்ட் மை ஸ்பீச் யூஸ்வலி இன் மை காலேஜ் I used to talk, I used to take my class in English. So once in a while, when I talk unofficially or for some personal matters to my students in Tamil, they will be feeling a little different. And those students who got accustomed to see me speaking or teaching only in English, when they watch my YouTube channel, they will be feeling really, Sir, your Tamil language is so pure. so that was a surprise for me when they listen to my uh, youtube channel and now this is a surprise for you definite surprise for you because you uh, people the great people uh, got used to watch my tamil language and this is the first time i'm speaking in english especially in my channel okay so let me start uh, the topic of uh, this particular video the topic is the sanyasis should stay in alpha state always at least after renunciation they should always stay in alpha state alpha mode always why but before that before finding out why and all i want to start from the scratch i i want to get into the introduction about uh, this particular content the entire universe my dear people the entire universe is made of uh, nothing but vibrations it's full of everywhere it's full of frequencies and vibrations the entire universe either made of voids or solids voids in the sense like just uh, space and solids are like planets okay planets or any solid particles on the space both voids and solids are creating some vibrations and those vibrations are eventually creating some frequencies and these frequencies matter okay so these frequencies are doing so many i mean these frequencies are the one which are completely reigning and ruling the entire universe that is just equivalent to god that is just god okay god is that frequencies and frequency those frequencies are god now let me come to human body before which i don't know whether i mentioned it or not everything in this world everything in this universe is liberating everything everything in this universe is liberating some frequencies because everything is vibrating i am vibrating okay uh, every object which is just standing in front of my eyes and every object is in this world vibrating and through that vibration uh you know it liberates frequencies okay now i am coming to human body this human body especially the human brain human brain okay this hu- through this human body this human brain is doing some vibration and it is liberating some frequencies and the scientists have found it out and those frequencies are categorized into some five divisions okay i think i have already talked about it in um, very long very long back in one of the videos i i think in ashtanga yoga yeah uh, in ashtanga yoga uh, especially when i was talking about um, dhyanam okay in Ash- uh, among one, one of the ashtanga one of the ashtanga yogas uh, dhyanam i i was talking about this alpha meditation okay so uh, before which i had i remember i had given a, a pre- preamble about uh, th- these vibrations okay okay now i'm coming back to the current video how human brain is also liberating some uh, vibrations and those vibrations are categorized into five uh, frequencies number 1 theta number 2 alpha number 3 beta number 4 gamma and the last one is delta okay theta is the frequency of uh, in between 0 and 4 hertz in between 0 hertz and 4 hertz is what we call theta frequencies the second one alpha 
is from 4 hertz to 7 hertz very small range 4 hertz to 7, 7 hertz and then the beta 8 hertz to okay 7 hertz 8 hertz to 13 hertz that is beta okay the next one gamma 13 hertz or 14 hertz to 40 40 hertz and above 40 hertz is called delta okay let me come to uh, one by one to explain it to you uh, theta theta is the vibration we produce when we sleep okay actually we won't produce zero okay i mentioned zero hertz to four hertz but we won't produce zero because uh, only a dead body would produce zero okay so we are not dead he, although we sleep uh, our, our body wouldn't be because when we sleep uh, there are certain uh, parts of a body uh, would be working on and those uh, words should be liberating some vibrations for example a heart uh, our brain would be complete asleep and there are certain uh, organs in our body would be uh, working okay so those things are a slight movement in your body when you do a slight movement uh, when you sleep that will produce some you know uh, uh, vibration that, that will produce some frequencies so uh, not zero zero point something 0 0.1 okay if it is 0 then you are dead so 0 point something to 4 okay if it crosses 4 then it becomes like alpha so up to that 4 it is called theta so when you go to that frequency or when you sleep when you are asleep then you are producing that particular range then uh, from 4 to 7 that is called alpha when you are so passive okay remember that when you are so passive when you are so calm when you when you do kind of meditate okay when you are when you are not talking to anybody else when you just sit down idle okay you liberate or you vibrate this particular frequency called alpha from 4 to 7 okay and uh, 7 to 13 okay when you are active when you are active but very mild active okay like walking like talking right now i am in beta like talking like uh, eating or doing some mild works not very aggressive or vigorous works very mild works when you do such mild works uh, then your body your brain will liberate beta frequencies okay going to the next one gamma from 14 hertz to 40 hertz we need to vigorous works for example you shout when you get angry when you do sex when you run when when, when you do some athletics when you do some uh, jogging okay uh, or going to zoom and do that workout and all no when you do some vigorous work so aggressive words or when you are so stressed remember you know when you are so stressed then your uh, your body your brain will liberate that particular frequency ranging from 14 hertz to 40, 40 hertz and we name it gamma okay and the last one above 40 it is called delta and the researchers are saying that once you're dead once you're dead uh, your frequency will be like 40 it is like more than 40, uh, uh, no, 40 hertz and it is gamma uh, delta okay among this range, uh, the, the, these many frequencies, this entire range, the spectrum of uh, one particular frequency, you know, uh, uh, from theta, alpha, beta, uh, delta, gamma, and all, among all this, one particular frequency is what we call it like divine frequency. The frequency, the state, the mood in which when you are present, uh, you automatically would start thinking about uh, so uh, nice thoughts uh, all your uh, stigmatic or very bad thoughts would be eradicated you would definitely get some divine uh, vibrations and you would be automatically get connected to the universe and automatically you become like a good man okay that particular thing is called that particular frequency is called alpha frequency okay i have already talked about it especially in that uh, ashtanga yoga but this particular topic in which sannyasi in which this topic is insisting sannyasi is to stay in alpha state alpha mood persistently throughout throughout forever and ever 
so i want to tell about uh, before which i want to uh, show you one book recently i came across uh, this book uh, was written by nagur rumi uh, alpha alpha dhyanam it's a fantastic book recently i just came across in one of the shops and i went through this book it is a very very uh, informative book i read it uh, when i was taking this book from the shop i was thinking oh my god i uh, i already completely i'm fond of alpha thing especially in meditation kind of thing uh, you know we have to get into alpha state so this book automatically comes to me so i feel very happy and i just in one night i just read the entire book and i'm strongly recommending this book to uh, you know read nagur rumi's uh, alpha dhyanam okay in this book and also in general alpha is the vibration which is completely recommended for anybody else to stay in okay now coming to the topic coming to the content a sanyasi has to sustain in the alpha state throughout the 24 hours and 7 days and 30 days throughout the life throughout the life unless otherwise he has to go to beta okay when he has to walk fast or he has to do something very you no know, uh, uh, active very active unless that the rest of the times it is far better for him to stay in alpha mood for ever and ever that is why i tell you one thing uh, have you ever seen that your grandpas or grandmas are always so uh, good have you ever loved uh, going and uh, you know uh, laying your head on your grandma's lap or to talk with your grandpa or to spend time with your grandpa and grandma why what is the reason because comparing to your mom and dad you love your grandpa and grandma because uh, your grandpa and grandma though they haven't attained that uh, renunciation that renounced renounced state not even becoming sanyasi at all they had automatically become so slow their pace had become their pace okay p a c e their pace had become so slow and they had automatically gone to that alpha state and so they had become so soft the vibration is so divine and everybody got attracted to grandpa and grandma and when you go to your grandpa and grandma you feel so lovely you know it is like so uh, lovable than with your own parents you no know? uh, so being in alpha state is what is recommended to the sanyasis so this topic is all about that when you stay in the alpha state forever and ever you are completely connected with the universe and you'd be always thinking only about the good thoughts and never getting into the bad thoughts and you will never be getting attracted to uh the sexual thoughts or to any desires or to some distraction or nothing so you'd be always staying in the proper focus and especially in uh, the sanyasam so for the sanyasis staying in alpha mood is what is recommended and that is what is prescribed in this particular video and i wish and i pray to the almighty that all the sanyasis in the world must have this alpha mood blessed thank you